What's up ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm just going to be going over the reasons for why I'm cancelling my Black Ops 3 pre-order. Me and Tyler were originally going to just do a video of the two of us playing some games online, but we couldn't do that for the reasons I'm going to be talking about. And also I know this was just a beta and I haven't known a Call of Duty game that's come out and been broken when it's launched, but these are issues that are making me cancel my pre-order, so if it seems like it's been fixed by the time the game comes out, I might still buy it during the launch week. Alright, so the first problem that we came across is the lag that we got while we're playing a game online. It could just be because of our slow internet speeds, or mine particularly, but it isn't this bad in any other games I play online, such as Battlefield Hardline. And it's like this 90% of the time making it unplayable, which is really frustrating because you can spend ages trying to get in a game, because sometimes it took like 5-10 to 10 minutes to try and get into a game or a lobby. And it could just be a server issue, that might get fixed by the time the game launches, but when I look at the ping while I'm playing the game, like when you press the start button, one of the new features you can see your ping in a number instead of just like the four bars that you normally get. And it shows the ping number, and it would just go crazy between th like 30 and 400 most of the time, just go back and forth between them. And it just made the game unplayable online, just having crazy amounts of lag. And it wasn't just a little bit of lag, like I can put up with like jumping around every few seconds. And it was like rubber banding a, a lot and sometimes just freezing and getting stuck in stuff or shooting someone thinking they were there, not getting hit markers then they just disappear like they weren't actually there but on my screen they were so there was a lot of issues like that and making the game unplayable it wasn't something that you could just put up with and still have a good time playing it it just made you want to put the controller down and play something else because it was just broken and the other big problem that we found is the constant crashes you get which I don't think is something to do with um, our internet connections I think it's something that's happening for everyone we could be like waiting for a game for about 5 minutes only for it to crash in the game lobby or in the loading screen. And it's not like it happened occasionally like once every like 20 matches or whatever you try to get into. It happened like 9 out of 10 times or maybe even more than that. I think it even crashed once when we were already in a game when it was doing a host migration which I guess means it's not dedicated servers on Xbox anymore like they had for Call of Duty Ghosts and stuff. So that's another big issue that they really need to fix before the game comes out because both those problems combined makes it impossible for you to get in a good game and like the whole thing was unstable you could either lag in a lot or crash before you got in a game and it was just a bit of a mess for us I don't know if it was the same for everyone but that's just how it was while we were playing it so if they are able to fix the game I'll buy it because once I finally managed to get through all of that and play a couple of games it was actually a really fun game and reminded me a lot of Black Ops 2 which was probably my favourite Call of Duty along with Modern Warfare 2 and it's just those issues like there was a couple of balancing issues maybe some of the weapons were a bit overpowered compared to the other ones but those are simple issues that you can fix pretty easily but it's these like issues with the crashes and the server lag issues and everything like that that made the game unplayable for us is what they really need to fix so that's why I'm not pre-ordering it as if it's still like that when the game comes out I won't be able to play it online so there's no point in even buying it really okay so there you have it my reasons for cancelling my Black Ops 3 pre-order Sorry we couldn't get a video off of me and Tyler playing some online games together but whenever we tried to record together the uh, game decided not to work properly so the gameplay in the video I just managed to get when I got it working by myself and just managed to record a couple of games. Okay so yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.